What's up everybody, Decon Nation back. Welcome to a windy Saturday morning. I, I think every time I do these videos, it gets even more windy. But it's time for a maintenance wash on the 2022 G80 M3 X-Drive. I haven't had time to do the full process yet, ceramic coating, etc. cetera. Um, just life gets in the way. So I still have plans for that. Um, today's just a maintenance wash uh, or a wash. And I'm gonna try a couple of new products and some soap I'm gonna show you. Uh, just to test it out, see if I like it. But um, this afternoon I have to go to a dance competition for my oldest daughter, uh, who's, she's turning 14 in a month, or less than a month now, only a couple weeks, I guess. But, um, so I don't have a lot of time today to, to really do the whole process and get started on that. So it needs a wash bad though, it's, it's filthy. And I'm gonna talk about a couple things I did to the car since then, but let's get into it. Let's jump into it for the day and uh, stick around. Guys, uh, as always got my Obsessed Garage gun set up. The wheels are filthy. I had a solution to this uh, and I'm on my third try and it's not working. So I'd ordered ceramic brake pads to replace these uh, Brembo pads. And as you can see, I hope you can see that the brake dust is insane on this car. I've talked about it before. Um, the ceramic pads would you know, be a solution to that, especially since I don't track the car. Um, you know, I don't, from what I read, I don't think they're the best on the track as far as grabbing, but just for everyday driving is perfectly fine. What's crazy is they make them for the rear. Um, the brand is DFC, Dynamic Friction. Um, I've contacted them, so they only make them for the carbon ceramic rotors, which I don't have. I didn't spend nine grand on the brakes, so I just have the, uh, the steel brakes. On the back, the, fat, the pads fit perfect, and on the front, they're too large. So I'm gonna have to wait until something comes out for the front, but I did change the back, um, and it feels completely like stock, you know, but those are much smaller. So I'm hopeful something uh, comes up for the, for the front. I'm sure it will. So let's, let's get rolling. And I apologize about the wind and noise. Hopefully it's not too bad. As always, Adam's wheel and tire cleaner. It's my go-to. Um, it's just been my favorite. It just, it always is. Now what, what's on here from the last wash video is uh, the OG tire dressing, which when I first put it on, it was, it was all right, it was nice, but man, as it sits and stays on there, I, I fell in love with it. Again, is the Detail Factory brush, the new one, which I also much rather. And I'm just using my clean bucket of water that I have in my wheel bucket. But I just really like the finish of the OG uh, Obsessed Garage tire dressing. My second favorite would be the Gion tire. That one's a little thicker, and it seems like the, the, the sheen or shine, it's not super glossy, but it didn't last quite as long as the OG one. Now, I don't think anyone technically lasts. I don't think it's possible for a tire dressing to really last. Now this one does seem like, this is the OG tire dressing. Seems like it's still kinda on there. Like the Adams wheel and tire maybe doesn't break it down or, or this tire dressing doesn't break down quite as much. Mailman's passing, so forgive me if it's loud or if I have to pause. Just trying out a spot just to see on a second pass. Maybe it's the coating in there. So actually something might be pretty cool is, uh, it's at the gym this morning, was a, uh, a guy, you know, I know a friend of mine, and uh, he just, he was talking to me about the car. He just let me know that he just got his 2022 
uh, Carvette in hypersonic gray. So I'm really curious to see that car. I can't wait. And I even talked to him about it. And um, I think he's going to want me to do a, the full process of decon and ceramic coating, which would be awesome to film. This gets really tight back here behind this caliper on this 19 inch wheel. Man, I'm really hoping for these uh, ceramic brake pads to get made. I had some other stuff from Adams that had getting shipped to me as well. But man, Adams uses FedEx and, and they're like three days behind from expected delivery right now. In other words, it was supposed to be delivered three days ago and it's still not here. Sess Garage lambskin wool mitt, which I've liked because it, it works well for getting in all these crazy spokes. Spokes are insane. That's you know one of the other reasons I want the uh, ceramic brake pads. I probably spend just as much time You know, doing these wheels that I do the whole car. And then that's the guy texting me right now about the car vet. We've been texting this morning. So I don't know the name of the interior color, but it's like a, uh, I mean, BMW would call it like Tartufo or like a caramel color. But he's got it over you know, that on the hypersonic gray. And it, it looks awesome. So I just started talking to him about it, you know, not even to charge him to do it, just because I just love doing this and, uh, and I appreciate you know, nice cars and doing nice cars. So I would just like to do it. So I told him that. So I think we're gonna work out something. So that'd be fun to, to film for you guys and to show, you know, something different than BMW Mercedes. Some American muscle, which you know, my wife and I have owned Mustangs and you know, are a fan of American muscle. I have nothing against the Carvette, you know, just uh, for the same money I would buy this just because this is where my heart is. I just, I just love this thing. one wheel down so I'm gonna do the other four and then we'll get to the the soap and foaming with a new soap and new foam to try out and I'll show you that all right everyone did the four wheels I wanted to do that real quick and I didn't film all of it I just filmed one just to save time on the video uh, next we're gonna rinse and foam and wash but I have something brand new that I haven't tried at all yet I'm just trying it uh, just to see how it works and talk about it so this is Gion's Q2M Bathe Plus so I'm going to show this to you, walk it up to the camera. Let me make sure it focuses on it. So this is their, uh, Gion Bathe is like their pH neutral type of soap. All right, well the Bathe Plus is ceramic infused or SiO2 infused. So it should be a little more slick, provides some protection. Um, I would guess this is best used uh, in maintenance washes or every now and then washes for your ceramic coating to provide longevity to it. Um, I'm going to try it as a standalone, and it actually says wash and coat on the back. Um, so initial thoughts are it's very thin. I did put it in the foam cannon already. I put it in the wash bucket. Um, so we're going to see how it foams, how it washes. It says naturally don't use indirect sunlight. That's impossible for me. Um, it says do not allow to dry on the car. So I'm not going to allow it as much as possible to dry on the car. So when I, when I get to that point, I'm going to wash as quick as I can and then um, I'm going to rinse it off as quick as I can, pull it in the garage like normal, finish the drying process in there. So let's get to it. All right, again, a super windy day. Uh, obsessed garage, wand, and all, let's do some rinsing. Have a lot of bugs on the car. 
just from driving. Yesterday I drove to New Orleans about an hour away. You know, um, if you've watched any of the previous videos, I'm a golf fan and the Zurich Classic of New Orleans, the PGA Tour event was happening. So my wife and I went out for the day out there. I feel like I got really sunburnt, <laughs> but picked up a ton of bugs along the way. Yeah, this is spraying all back in my face, really. That's okay. I did dry the wheels with my Ego uh, 765 right after I washed them. I didn't show you that on the video, but I do that just so the water doesn't dry to it and spot it. I'm just, you know, without spotless rinse, I'm trying to prevent as much spots as possible. The last time it was this windy, the whole, uh, the whole tripod flipped over. So hopefully we don't have that again. I have no kind of coating on this car and the beating's actually all right. So talking about the brakes. So what I did was I ordered a pair for the front. Went to the shop, tech said, man, these don't fit. So I ordered another pair. The tech called me again after trying to install. He said, man, are you sitting down? I said, yeah, what's up? He said, these don't fit either. So he had me drive over there. And th the problem is the pad is, it uh, depends which dimension you look at it. Um, so if, that, if I had the pad long ways, it would be a half an inch too tall. So if you think of the size of the rotor itself, that pad should fit pretty much directly on the rotor to be that size. Well, it's hanging a half an inch, like too far closer to the hub. You know, it's, it's hanging uh, off the rotor, so it would wear a groove in it and it would touch the hub. And then I talked to some guys through forums and they're running it like that and I'm just not comfortable with that. And they're like, oh, it fits perfect, you have no problem. Well, I'm just a little bit too conservative for that, I guess, or just playing it safe. You know, I'm not gonna do anything to put myself in danger, and, and maybe it's not dangerous, but you know what? It doesn't look right and it doesn't fit right. I'm not made for that, so I'm not gonna do it. Just like I wouldn't put F-150 rims on, uh, on my M3. Kind of the same concept. Maybe that's a little far-fetched, but you get the idea. They're made for the carbon ceramic rotors on the M3, which are larger, apparently. You know, I put that away from me so it doesn't spill all over. So, okay, foam gun time, foam cannon. All right, so my MTM foam cannon, um, I've already put about 150 mLs in here. Uh, they have some little measuring marks on it so that's pretty much what i put for every soap which is probably three to four ounces so i filled that up i'm going to fill it up in my rinse bucket now just for the rest to, uh, to top it off and the reason i use the rinse bucket and not the uh the sink inside or the hose is if you get any kind of pressure when filling it, it's going to suds up everywhere so i want to fill it slowly just to the top Then I'm going to just screw on my foam cannon. And I don't really shake it, I just kind of mix it around a little bit. Just make sure that soap is not settled on the bottom just to try to get some even dilution. All right, so one of the greatest things about all these guns and these stainless quick Canucks is just the, the ease of transitioning. So we are ready to go. Let's foam. I'm just moving my OG hose out the way. Let's see how it is. All right, so initial thoughts on the foam. Much more watery. And then maybe by design, like much, much more watery. It's not that thick uh, shaving cream style of foam. 
That's probably because of the SiO2 in there. And then I'm assuming if your car was coated, it would be flying off even more or, or dripping off even more. Just because the coating is designed, you know, the coating is designed to reject anything. Let's pull my hoses around here. So if it rejects this soap and it's doing its job, then it's really not gonna stick. But yeah, this is not a clingy, grabby soap. So I'm not sure if I would actually use this often. I just bought it just to try it. I said, why not? I like trying some new things sometimes. So. Yeah, so it's very runny. It doesn't make for a pretty show like that other foam. Some people say it doesn't matter because foam doesn't matter, but you know what? To me, it matters. It's a, it's a uh, critical step in the process to encapsulate dirt, provide lubrication. And it's, man, I'm getting covered in it. So I'm just trying to use as much of it as possible just to rest. So I have it in my wash bucket as well. Just adjusting things just to see, but yeah, it's uh, it's not gonna foam like Koshemi GSF or the Adams Mega Foam, that's for sure. But it's getting the job done. All right, so let's start our wash. Oh, and I can see in the uh, in the bucket already that the suds. You know, when you fill up your wash bucket, how it suds up. I did that you know, five minutes ago already. Uh, almost like clear water. Kind of use my gun to reactivate it. Tell you what, that it does feel super slick because the yeah, the mitt is um, sliding all over. I can feel it on my gloves that I wear. So I guess the, the goal would be when you rinse this off for it to be somewhat coated in SiO2 and, uh, and be hydrophobic. Sounds like that was the, that's the plan. Yeah, so it's not really sticking to the paint at all. So it's got, it's definitely got some product in it. And I don't know how much uh, ceramic, so to speak, or SiO2 is in it but it feels like a good bit. It's, it's slippery. I do know that. So when I pull it in today, um, what I'm gonna use is the Obsessed Garage drying aid. And probably because I have it in a press all bottle from spray bottle from obsessed garage and I've been wanting to use them or use that one I only have two of them right now I have some more coming and they're not cheap but they're supposed to be the industry best you know they're about 15 bucks uh, per bottle which you may think it's crazy or a lot for a spray bottle but if it works and lasts I mean I use them a lot and I've spent money on worse things So the, uh, the, the brake pads, you know, going back to that, that kind of uh, messed up my plans a little bit because, so my plans were to, as soon as I could get the car, all of the brake pads. So the rear is successful. Like I said, the front, not so much. But I wanted to do that. And then what I was gonna do, and this stuff is slick. What I was gonna do is immediately pull the wheels off, ceramic coat them, you know, do the whole correction on them, ceramic coat. And, uh, and then they would just be what I would think would be just phenomenal and perfect. Well, I may just have to coat them anyway. You know, just as is.
I hope this stuff works and provides some protection. The good part is I haven't done anything really to the car yet, so it's, this is kind of just a test, which is nice. Because once I, uh, you know, once I do a full decon to prep for coating, I'm going to remove everything on the car anyway. So it's probably not designed to be. I don't. I don't know, but it's definitely not sudsy. But you would think not sudsy means uh, scratches and swirls, and I'm not sure about that because this thing is. I'm, I'm not really putting any pressure and it's just gliding all over. It's probably not something I'm gonna order again though. I could see it wanting to dry on the paint and, it's, and the sun's kind of behind the clouds right now. So I'm trying to move quickly. Cause I don't want it to dry. It kind of just makes like a, a smearness, you could say, on the paint. And maybe when the car is coated, you know, you do this once every six months and it would give you some good results. I don't know. And the results might be good. I'm not going to, I'm not going to uh, just throw it in the garbage yet. But it was so thin, I feel like I put almost that whole bottle between the cannon and uh, the wash bucket. Almost ready to rinse, just before it dries. Just finish up the rear right here. Now you can't see me right now, I'm just doing exhaust diffuser just about got it let's give it a rinse down So I guess if it leaves behind some protection and beating, that would be the point. Which, I mean, it, I guess there's some so far, but nothing spectacular. Now you know a lot of people swear by Gion's bathe, just the regular bathe totally different product. pH neutral soap. Um, supposedly works great in the foam cannon. I have not tried that. And I typically uh, really like all of Gion's products. I haven't hit anything yet that I don't like. And this may be one. And there is some beating and sheeting going on. It's kind of like it activates it, I guess. Whenever I rinse it. Which they have a spray um, wet coat. It's called, I have some of that, haven't really used it on the car. But, so while your car is wet, you would just spray it down with that product. And then when you rinse it with the pressure washer, it activates. Yeah, so we're getting uh, not, not really wonderful beating. Not what I like to see. See, I don't know how long it's going to be before um, the, uh, the, the front brake pads are made in ceramic. 
which kind of blows my mind because the guys who have carbon ceramic brakes, I don't see them changing their pads very much, especially yet the cars are all new. And that's the pads that they make so far um, aftermarket. I would think the guys like me who have iron rotors, steel brakes, are going to change them for the same reason that I am. And they're not available yet. But uh, Dynamic Friction, he said DFC is the company and you know, the rear brakes are awesome, like I said. Everything's been great so far. No noise, feels like stock. And we'll find out after this wash how much dust over the course of a week. Looks like that's not for me, FedEx. So if anyone from Adams is listening, maybe use UPS or USPS. And it's not a big package I have coming. I think it's a t-shirt. It's a new wheel brush that I want to try. And uh, some hair shampoo, actually. I saw they had some two-in-one conditioner shampoo, so I said, hey, give me some of that <laughs> to try out. All right, it's time to dry. Um, so it might look a little different. It's my 765 CSM. I have a stubby nozzle on order from Obsessed Garage. It's not here yet, but I already had the Ego uh, gutter attachment, uh, which comes with a stubby and then a stubby and then about eight foot long of extension so you can clean your gutters. So I'm trying this one out, which uh, looks like it'll work pretty good. Let's give it a shot. It's loud. All right, before I pull it inside, I'm gonna try this uh, Gion wet coat. All right, so this, I'm gonna spray on the, on the wheels. So it's a spray on, pressure wash off, and it's activated and supposedly coated. Um, so not sure exactly how well, but we're gonna just do it just to try. So I'm just gonna soak it down pretty well, get the caliper. So let's do that and rinse. So that's supposed to instantly make your wheels hydrophobic. So let's dry. Okay, sorry about that guys. Uh, the wind took the tripod and the camera <laughs> again. So I just used the wet coat on the wheels, pressure washed them, and immediately used the uh, dryer and the Ego and dried it. And uh, they look really good actually. They look clean, dried well, and became hydrophobic. So that, that might work pretty well. So I'm gonna do the other three wheels really quick and then pull it inside. All right, so this is the Press All household bottle with the household sprayer. I think again, it's like 15 or 16 bucks. It's a 500 milliliter. And I got the Obsessed Garage um, decal or logo to put on it for drying aid. And I think these are like $1.50 or something They're pretty cheap. Um, so this is a double action sprayer. So when you spray, it sprays. When you let go, it sprays again. So it should kind of speed up and make it a little bit more efficient. So I haven't used this on the car yet. So we're about to. And I've got my uh, edgeless microfiber towels. Uh, again, I think that's 350 GSM, maybe 500, but I, I honestly can't remember. So the press all gives it a nice mist. And the drying ages gives it a nice shine, a little sacrificial layer, and uh, just kind of cleans it up. Kind of like a detail spray would. Gives it some slickness. I think you can use it everywhere. Windows. Yeah. Now the good part so far about that Gion um, Bathe Plus was that I, I kind of had a feeling as I was going through it that thinking I was going to streak everywhere and it, it didn't. Maybe that's because I dried it quick. but there wasn't any streaking. And the wet coat that I put on the wheels actually uh, kind of impressed me so far. It, it dried really well after that. When I put the dryer on it, I mean, it dried great, it dried fast. So 
So I'm just kind of giving you a peek of this uh, drying aid, um, which is pretty awesome. It's working great, quick and easy. Get my fancy uh, Grant's chair. One of these days I'll get me a Viper chair from Obsessed Garage. But this, uh, just a simple wipe and then I flip the towel and I'm just drying it. Man, it works nice. Really nice. So the Adams package that I've been waiting on that I really wanted, so it was their microfiber brush, wheel brush, but it, uh, you know, the, like the cylindrical shaped one, but it had the drill attachment on the end. So you put it in your drill, your cordless drill, and it'll spin and clean you know, as you wish. And you know, so I was kind of looking forward to that and giving it a shot and I would do it on camera. Might switch to kind of using a, a two towel method here as my follow up. Oh, the soap gave it a nice, um, a nice finish, I would say. These gloss back black side skirts I'm always having to baby and take care of. Make a pass and come back with a dry towel. Then the key is always getting in the door jams because that drips all over the place. And my door jams are pretty clean. I'm not sure if I drove through the rain since I last washed. I don't think I did. I think it was more so just dusty. I do have some interior videos to share with you guys about you know, coating the leather. You know, I had filmed it once actually and then the whole mic went out. I've been having a lot of mic problems, mainly the cord. So I have a new roadie cord, which seems to be doing pretty well today. Keep getting that drip from the doors. Um, so I had to make the video for the, uh, for the mic, I mean, for the interior twice. So the press all, once you kind of dial it in with the nozzle, it, it missed really well. I'm actually just come spray in the air and, and show you that so that you can see. And I kind of wanted to be done and then take my car on the road today for the two hour drive because so I'm at right about 800 miles and I'm eager to get to the 1200. So I can get the break in done. I've got it scheduled a couple of weeks from now, maybe about three weeks from now. Got it scheduled at the dealer. And I've also got two weeks from now scheduled um, the AC installation for my garage. And that I'm looking forward to, maybe more so than anything. All right, so I'm just gonna get the rest of the car dried with the uh, drying aid. And uh, I don't really don't have to do anything to the wheels besides put the tire dressing after and then we'll be done. So making pretty good timing so far. So we'll be back. Okay, just finished with the drying aid real quick. That stuff's awesome. I'm just seeing a little water still dripping. And what I did do was switch to this uh, hybrid drying towel that I had, I forgot I had because it was new. Um, to use for the drying aid, and this thing is unbelievable. Makes all the difference. You'd be surprised versus the small one. It just soaks up anything, leaves no streaking. I put this all over the windows, everything. The car looks amazing. It's a little dust or something there. All right, so last step is time to put the tire dressing on. I'm gonna show you what I use 
I think I've showed it before. So this is the OG tire dressing. I've kind of fallen in love with it, to be honest. I, I wasn't too sure about it at first, but now I really love it. Uh, and this is in the press all bottle as well. And in this, which is an expensive little brush, I think 30 bucks, it's a detail factory curveball brush, but it's very uh, fine and it spreads this stuff. Awesome. It's actually an interior brush, but it's worth every penny. It's going to last a long time. So I'm going to get set up and finish the, uh, the wheels. All right, so I also have a little Chemical Guys old towel that I don't use for anything else besides if I need to clean off the, the tire brush. So I take my OG tire dressing. There you go. Press all bottle. I spray some just on the brush itself and it just spreads it so nice and evenly. I really like it. So you usually have to spray a couple times on the brush itself, but that's okay because I don't want to overdo it. Whoops. And sometimes I get some sprayed on the wheel. So I just spray it again and then I squeeze it to get in this uh, crevice here. It's like that little indented part right along the rim, just to make it uniform. And I can get on the bottom better closer to the concrete than I can with a, a foam block. And once this stuff kind of settles in the tire, it, it just gives it like just the right amount of sheen and it, 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 uh, it just looks good. I find longer than the Gion tire did. Initially that Gion tire just looks amazing when you put it right on and it smells amazing. But this just gives a nice, nice finish right away. And if I get any on the rim, I could just touch up with the, uh, with the brush. Too much on the brush, I just wipe it off, especially before picking it up. And it has a little stand, which is cool, so it doesn't sit on anything and get the tire dressing or anything. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in for another wash day. Uh, quick as possible with good results i guess wash day on the new m3 i love washing this car i enjoy it i'm excited to do the rest of the process but i've got to pick this thing up pick up my pressure washer and get to a dance competition so the um the what i did notice that i forgot to say earlier is the the bathe plus i noticed while drying there was a couple of streaky spots on the car but the drying aid took care of it and to be honest it feels super slick right now the surface um, so pretty good results overall. Um, I could see if I had a black car, how it'd be streaked really bad. Uh, but on this color, you know, not bad at all. But I'm excited for the future of things to come on this. Um, I'm excited about, uh, I should have an F-150 brand new that I'll be doing the whole process on. And hopefully that new vet um, from a friend of mine uh, should be able to do that as well and film for you guys. So a lot of content to come, a lot of videos to come. I'm trying to keep up with it. Uh, it's more work editing than it is actually filming. Um, so I appreciate all of you who are watching. And uh, stay tuned. I'm trying to keep making things happen for you. I appreciate all the support so far. Um, so thanks for watching.